wanted to jump right in. You know, we're just about over halfway through this regular season. Uh, just your thoughts on sort of progress, what you've seen uh, going well so far this first half of the year. Yeah, well, we're, we're getting results, which is always the tough thing to do. Uh, we're knock on wood, um, rather healthy, which is also a, a positive. So, uh, you know, it, it's the grind. It's right now it separates um, real teams from teams that have a chance and teams that don't. So, so we're going to find out here coming down the home stretch uh, with a great um, chance ahead with a great Cal team, a great Sanford team uh, this week. And, and like you said on Sunday, uh, it doesn't get any easier in the Pac-12. Do, do you look at the season as a whole and, and shift how you do things over the course of the year as that ramps up, or does it stay pretty much the same for you week to week? Uh, we're pretty much the same. We just will add stuff that needs fixed. We'll take some stuff off that we feel like we can move forward, and we'll also we're just managing bodies right now when it comes down to you know their ability to – keep going as we get into the season here because again it's we we didn't want to be first out of the gate we want to be last around the gate coming last around the track here coming down the stretch so uh we're we're in a great spot i told the team this morning there's plenty of teams in the country now that aren't playing for a lot anymore but we're, we got a lot in front of us to play for so we're excited and you know i wonder if i could get your thoughts just on a couple key players it seemed like nadia cooper really found her form this weekend and, and had that goalkeeper of the year type performance. If you could just comment on her weekend and then also, you know, Margie, she continues to be involved in goal scoring, uh, game making opportunities. Yeah, each game this year, we've had different lines or different players step up and perform and it's what's needed to have a complete team. Uh, we didn't have to rely on Nadia a lot this year. I'm, in, in the first half for sure in Utah, we, we, we had to. And, uh, and that's what big players do. And she rose to the occasion. Um, so, whether well, it was a goalkeeper, a center back, a forward, or midfielder, whatever the case may be, everybody's in some sort of cape of fashion, uh, some sort of fashion has stepped up and credit to Nadia. And then, yeah, Margie continues just to be, uh, she's a beast out there. And uh, whether she's scoring goals or keeping possession or running up players or creating assists, um, it's always good to have herself uh, hot up there. And, and Grayson gets back on the board, which was needed. I know she's been wanting that after missing a couple. And, uh, you know, again, I just, we're cautiously, cautiously optimistic. We're never comfortable here in Washington State. So uh, we'll just take it and move forward. And again, like you said, headed to the Bay Area this weekend, Cal Thursday afternoon, and then Stanford on Sunday. Uh, can you just sort of preface what you might expect from them or, or sort of what you want your defense to be focused on uh, going into this Cal game? Uh, two big, great teams, two well-coached teams, two teams that are – Constantly in the NCAA tournament. I mean, they, they had their style. They got their athleticism. Um, they, they play good soccer. So we know it's it's an uphill battle. It's going to be a tough battle for the Cougs. And uh, we're excited to be down there. Um, you know, if, if you're going to try to make some noise in a late run, you got to do something this weekend. So uh, I know our girls are always hungry enough for the challenge. And I just wanted to touch on, again, just sort of the success of this last weekend. And you, you were able to become the – all-time wins leader at WSU. We talked about it briefly following the game, but just, uh, you know, maybe your experience as a whole here at WSU and, and looking at it with an approach to even the second half of this season and just sort of holistically your time on the Palouse. Oh, it's been great. Uh, like I said, I work for uh, a great boss, Ann McCoy, and everything Pat has done for our program and, and Bill Moose for hiring me back in the day. Very grateful for all this. Um, and you learn a lot. You learn as a coach from your staff. You learn from your bosses. You learn from your players. So I think as time goes, um, this has been a group project for sure across the board. And uh, I'm still learning every day. I hope the players are still learning every day. Um, but, uh, you know, it, as I tell the girls, you know, unfortunately, Sunday night, it's time to flush it and move on. Nobody really cares what we did yesterday. It's all about the next day. So that's who we are. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.